Don't worry, everybody, it's decaf. Now, I'm sure you can all guess where we're going today for an obvious reason. The Santa Monica Pier, because we leave in, when you're watching this, two days to Germany, to Paris, and to Spain. So like I do when I'm in Los Angeles, we go to the pier almost every day because your boy needs to grind. Oh, Ferrari, Ferrari? Wow. It's not that I want more Reggie ice, but I want to do more legendary raids so I can get more Stardust so that I can do more trades with you guys. Not special trades, though, because I'm not dropping a million Stardust on a trade. I love you guys, but, like, I can only do one of those. So a Santa Monica Pier grind day full of raids, eggs, and good times and spots always good spots I'm not sure if you consider a 1000 CP Hitman Chan as a good spawn but I don't see him a lot and speaking of rates be gone Starbucks oh Jeez. Now we all know that in order to trade, you need an abundance of Stardust. And we all know the best way to get Stardust is through raids. Which is why I love Santa Monica so much, because conveniently we're in one right now, and there's like three on the nearby that we can do right after this. Like I said, a big reason why I like Santa Monica so much is because I can farm the legendary raids here like nobody's business, because when I travel, usually I can't raid the legendaries, like this Reggie. Unfortunately right now it's Reggie. I would rather have it be Kyogre, so I can try for that shiny. And obviously, Ammonite can be purple. I got some news for y'all. Other than me hitting the Savage Seas on this, because that's just kind of implied, because I am that guy, and I am that good. Watch. No stress, nothing, Savage Seas and all that. Oh, gifts in Pokemon Go. See, now the gift system in Pokemon Go has finally changed, for better or for worse, depending on who you are. Now, how have the gift changed, might you ask? All the limits are still the same. The daily limits, the amount you can hold is still five, and the amount that you can open and send is still capped at whatever number it's capped at. But the difference now isn't the amount of gifts you can hold, send, or open. It's the amount of items you can get per gift. We're also battling an Aerodactyl because I don't have this shiny, and this is the only one from the Rock event that I wanted. We got Ammonite, I was so happy with this, but we need the Aerodactyl, man. I'm like the Aerodactyl king out here in Santa Monica, you know what I'm saying? I've, I've seen a lot of them. Me and the Aerodactyl, we've got a special connection. I'll trade for it one day, but I'd like to catch it. Well, the gifts, the gift system in Pokemon Go. One of the main issues about the gift system was the amount of items you received from the gift. It's filled your storages way too quickly. It was awesome because you got a lot of really useful things like Pineapple Berries, Ultra Balls, and Great Balls, but you got a lot of them. So for those of you who are low on balls, this was awesome, but for people like myself who have a decent amount of stuff and a lot of stops everywhere, it was kind of a pain. So they've lowered it. They lowered the amount of items you can get per gift. Come on, purple. Oh. Like right now, I've got 120 pineapple berries, and I dumped over 100 yesterday in gyms. Now, I'm so down for this because this is just like endless amounts of stardust, but like at the same time, I keep getting filled on storage. There's also another legendary, not another, there is a legendary right down the street. As always, here at Santa Monica, we're never short of legendaries. Now, I'd open some gifts for you guys to show you the gift distribution or the item distribution, but we have one big, very awesome issue. Now, what's my problem, might you ask? I'm Motherhead Mystic, once again. We've got nine, all nine 7km eggs going up at the same time, and we're at 1.9 kilometers. So, I want to open gifts, because as you can see, I have just a copious amount of gifts from all of the homies. So, we will open these today, and we will go through them, but I need to hatch eggs first, because I don't want to waste any opportunities at hatching 7Ks, because we still need Vulpix. <laughs> My biggest fear with one of these and riding one of these and playing on one of these is that I'll have my phone and my camera in my hands and the scooter. So as convenient as it would be riding around on a scooter catching Pokemon hatching eggs, I don't want to kill myself. It's for the vlog. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first Reggie Rice raid of the day. There should be plenty because, again, we've got today, we've got tomorrow, and we've got a little bit of Wednesday because my flight's at like 5 p.m. So I could come grind the pier in the morning in order to get as much Stardust as we can because after these couple days, it's just, it's trips. We've got Dormant Germany, which will be a big event, and I'm assuming a lot of people want a Pokemon traded to them. No 1 million special trades, though. If I was Prodigies with 18 million Stardust, that'd be cool right now. No. I'll drop 20k any day. Though. I got you guys. And then directly after Dortmund, we're doing the Barcelona Spain meetup the next weekend. So, gonna drop Stardust there trading. That's gonna be a fun time. I can't wait for that, man. Barcelona seems tight. Yeah, the weekend after that is Go Fest. And if I'm gonna spend Stardust trading anywhere, it's gonna be at Go Fest. Oh, by the way, guys, if you haven't already, drop your trainer codes down in the comments. You can get some uh, some people added on your list. And if you're at Go Fest, look out for me. I'll trade you guys something small and something basic, but something that you can have. A pseudo Wudo. If you guys didn't see that live stream, I have saved a copious, I've been using the word copious a lot more, a copious amount of pseudo Wudo to trade to you guys because that's, that's just the Pokemon, right? That and actually Vaporeon too. I've got a lot of Vaporeon straight away. So although unfortunately I can't give everyone some sort of Pokedex Pokemon, I can give you something cool from me. And it is a vlogger. I'm a vlogger. Pokemon vlogger. See, the real question here is, can we keep up our decent streak with the Reggie? The better question is, can we get 100% IV? We need to get the 100 for this one. 1711. Come on now. Got it. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, easiest legendary ever. Alright, let's hatch these eggs so I can show you guys the, uh, the new gift nerf.
Alright, let's go over gifts, but not before going over this brand new notification we got today. We finally got the Dortmund notification. Beautiful nature and Pokemon sightings await in the Dortmund Safari Zone. And this is all the information. I've actually never read this myself. Well, obviously it just got launched today. Summer Tour 2018 kicks off in lush Westfalen Park as we host a Safari Zone event supported by the city of Dortmund in Germany from June 30th to July 1st. I'll be there. As you walk through the area, Pokemon such as Unknown and Corsola will appear in the wild. Nice. Oh, we, we know all this information. The biggest thing here, we're going to hit a thousand Unknown candy. I'm juiced. So if you guys are in Dortmund or in Germany, I'll be there. Look out for me. Now these bad boys, the gifts here in Pokemon Go, they were changed. They were nerfed in a big way. Where are my eggs at right now? One foot. Oh, I suck. And while we talk about them, let's uh, let's send some gifts over because I need to keep these streaks going. They gave out too many items, and now really there's no such thing as too many items when they're sending things like Ultra Balls and Pineapps, but it filled storages really, really quickly. So they have nerfed gifts. You now no longer get a million items from each gift. You only get a couple. Usually you got anywhere between like 12 to 15 items. And now I think the bundle is like, you get like, instead of 10 to 15 items total, you now get like, two to five items total, which is a humongous decrease. Again, we'll check that in today's video in a little bit, because obviously we have an absolute, just ridiculous amount of presents to open, and we'll get all those done. Once we hatch the nine, and hopefully get that freaking bull fix. Stay hydrated. Stay protected. No. <laughs> Howdy. This is uh, the Togetic spawn point. Haven't seen one in a while here. Kind of miss it. We used to see all sorts of rare spawns at the Santa Monica Pier. All sorts of rare spawns. This was back in the Kanto days, Gen 1 days. We had wild Dragonites and Snorlax and Lapras and Gyarados and Aerodactyl. It's good times, man. I miss the mobs. I miss the mobs running for Pokemon. Well, the Pokemon Go's latest tweet. Get ready for a new set of field research tasks and rewards. Trainers July research task will be featuring some familiar Pokemon originally discovered in the Kanto region with Snorlax right here as uh, the thumbnail type picture. So it's looking like some rare Gen 1 Kanto region spawns might be coming back through the field research. Now that's exciting in itself because sure, we get it, you know, shot at some Snorlax, maybe a Dragonite, maybe a Gyarados, maybe some Lapras. But that's not what I'm excited about. You guys know me. Anything that sparkles. Ugh. This possibly is a hint at maybe shiny Snorlax coming out with the new field research tasks because I figured the field research would gift the legendary dogs next because we just got the birds and it only made sense that the dogs came after but they might take a break for a month and filter through some bigger more rare Kanto Pokemon which would hopefully include shiny Snorlax we thought he was gonna come out a little while ago he didn't so Niantic drop it drop that big fat shiny Snorlax please speaking of big fat things there's a Wilmer raid there's <laughs> Thanos Wilmer is easily one of my favorite raid bosses just because it's easy. I can use fun little Alolans like the Alolan Rat is uh, definitely cool. I can't wait to evolve this because Alolan Raticate. I, I, you know what? I'm gonna be wow. I just got he just got destroyed. Gonna be honest, Alolan Ratata. I think he's my favorite out of those two. But Wilmer's just easy. It's fun. Gives you Stardust. I didn't drop a Star Piece, and it could give you a Shiny. Yeah, totally forgot that Star Piece. Okay, well Thanos, 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 Thanos. Come on, man. I still to this day have never gotten. A shiny raid ball. Oh, wow. Well, now that we got the Whalmer, I'd like to eat some Whalmer. It's almost a daily thing at this point. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time finally. We can hatch the nine seven km eggs. We've got them right here. And I got a star piece down. Okay, let's do this. This is big. This could give us, this should give us the Vulpix. Out of all the, Alie hatched the Vulpix out of his ninth egg. That's unfair. <laughs> He's luck in this game is incredible. I don't know. I don't get it. I can't tell you how many eggs we've hatched, but I can tell you that we have not hatched the Vulpix just yet. Mm, we have a million Sandshrews. Seriously though, if uh, you guys ever see me in person, you went like a custom Alolan Sandshrew from Mystic 7, I freaking got like all of you covered. Please! Dude, three in a row. Are we really gonna do nine Sandshrews? I'm coming to the monkey for luck. Let's see. Monkey luck? Egg? Egg? Not bad, okay, I'll take a Grimer. Shout out to the monkey. 698, we are at 1.7 million plus Stardust, by the way, so. I know this is like the week of trading and the week that all the Stardust should be going away, but I'm trying to save Stardust, grind it up as much as I can so that the events, that's when I can spend all my Stardust. So 1.7 mil and another Sandra. Currently have lost track of what egg we're on. Monkey luck. Ha. Please, monkey, bless my eggs. Oh my god, stop. Okay, I'll take a meow. I'll take a meow. Mm. 
<laughs> okay, all right. I, I can't be mad now. I asked for it. Grimer on the. I think that's the last egg. Out of nine eggs, we got two Grimers, one Meow, and six Sand Shrew. Well, at least now I can show you guys the gift system. Not before we knock down this Reggie raid, though. This is uh, priority numero uno ATM because the star piece is down, and your boy likes the dust. Ideally, I'd love over two million Stardust before Go Fest, which is doable if I don't spend it like crazy in Dortmund. But I have a feeling that I'm gonna spend it like crazy in Dortmund. Plus, I have a little over 20 star pieces, and they're not in the shop anymore, so we'll see how the Stardust goes. Oh, oh 1759, that's huge. And we only have eight balls, of course. Well, <laughs> accurate throws. Or just, I mean, the straight up Savage season would be the, mm. Did that say 400? Oh my God. I have 400 golden raspberries. Again, not a bad thing. Come on. Out of all the ones to run, yes. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Okay, that's like, dude, that's real. Remember, 100% is 1764. We just got 1759. Okay, that's all I need. I can stop doing Reggie now. And we got 33 candies, 1.7 mil star. Mm. That is successful. Now we've got about a billion gifts to open. Now, before we battle this Kabuto, though, <laughs> I promise I'm not doing this on purpose. These raids are just popping up everywhere and we can't skip them because it's a Kabuto. We could get a little, uh, little green jelly bean out of this. You know what I'm saying? That raid lasted about two seconds. Let's go. Green, 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 green! Mm. Now, before we take out this other Reggie, though, I, I can't stop. I'm literally just walking out of Santa Monica right now, and I keep running into Reggie raids, or raids in general. 1706, not the 59 we just got, whatever. We can't stop catching them, too, so, like, can't stop finding him, can't stop catching him. Give me the 100%. Okay, we're, oh. Oh, we're back in the office so I could open these <laughs> gifts peacefully. We've got a lot to open, and I want to show you guys, because I actually haven't seen for myself, I want to see how many items you actually get. We're going to get Andrew, the man Andrew, because actually he is the number one on my friendship level right now. So Andrew, we're the bestest friends that anyone could ever have. So let's see, what do you get? Three Pokeballs, one Ultra Ball, so four items total, one Max Potion, five items total, and that's it. Five items. We, you used to get five items for one bundle. Oh my gosh, that was like chopped in half right there. All right, Dontarius. We've got room for nine eggs, so I, I've got plenty of things that I could open. Okay, so we got five total, so we got one Ultra Ball. Gosh, one Max Potion, one Hyper Potion, and that's it. Whoa! Three items and no eggs. Okay, somebody egg me. Somebody please egg me. Pope Dave, we got two pineapple berries, three Pokeballs, and an egg. Thank you very much. Five items and an egg. Cool beans. Wow, I really like your character, actually. It looks sick. Our Sasquatch, aka Connor. We're gonna get out of this one two Ultra Balls. We got one egg, so two items and an egg. Yeah, so it, <laughs> the item drop right now is like, it was up here. It was like, it was like, it was like at this, at this level, right? It was, it was up here. And then now it's like, it's like down, like, like down there, like somewhere in this area. The JM Gaming, aka Jake. One Max Potion, one Hyper Potion, and one egg. Two items in an egg. The official JT Gilly, almost level 39, dude, I see you. Uh, Max Revive, Ultra Ball, and an egg. <laughs> Two items in an egg. That's crazy. This one's from the Sweetie Reversal. Super Potion, Revive, Egg. Okay, here's all the eggs. Prodigy's Nation, aka still not wearing shoes. Max Revive, Pineapple Berry, egg. Beautiful. God, I dude, I want the Mopix so bad. You have no idea. Whoa, did she have the muck? Hold on, this is this is from Holly, and I think Holly has muck as her buddy. That I cannot wait. We're gonna evolve to that very soon. Oh my god, it looks incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Ali A here. Ali Amazing Grace, one Max Revive, two Pineapple Berries. Egg! An Ali Egg! <laughs> and a present from Pierre. All we need is one egg. Ultra Ball, Max Potion, and they. Thank you everybody for those presents, those gifts. We're now back up to nine low ones, nine more chances at the Vulpix. Find out in tomorrow's video if you get it or not. And we have a, I can't do it. I can't wait to evolve these Grimers. Muck looks so tight. You're gonna be a big, awesome, colorful Muck one day. Sandshrew, you need to get off my screen. Oh, Pokemon Go tweet. I should Pokemon Go tip. Reaching different friendship levels unlocks extra bonuses, such as a battle boost or extra Premier Balls in raids. They obviously don't watch our videos. You click on somebody's profile and you click their top left to check the friendship level. If you click on the next heart, it shows you. If you keep playing together for five more days, you can become great friends. It shows you your progress. 28 more days until ultra friends, and then 88 more days until best friends. And then obviously it shows you what you get with that, the triple stardust discount, three times attack bonus, and then extra premier balls, and then it shows you kind of going down the line there too. I don't know if I showed that on the channel yet, but like, that's really cool and I'm very happy they have that in there, especially the amount of days until you reach that next friendship level. That's fantastic. And again, Andrew being the best friend that I have right now. Three more days, Andrew, and we're great friends. Let's freaking 
can do it. Well, shout out to all the Pokemon Go homies, and that was today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed that one. Again, the gifts in Pokemon Go have been nerfed significantly. I mean, you just saw from that, it's pretty significant from what it was. Good news and bad news, depending on who you are and how you played and how filled your item space was. For me, this is kind of nice because this was oh, the gifts were always filling my item space, and I'd always have to go like clear things before I try to get more eggs. So this is nice that I don't have to do that. But let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think about this update? Do you guys think that they should change this? Do you guys want more items, less items? Let me know down below, and I will see you all in the next episode tomorrow where we hatch nine more eggs and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully get that freaking Alolan Vulpix. All right, peace out from me and my trees.